For University of Illinois Extension, I'm Todd Cleason. Despite the wet weather many think may be causing nitrogen fertilizer to get away from corn plants, it's still far too early to make that decision. While it seems likely some nitrogen fertilizer has moved out of the upper soil as a result of rainfall this year, University of Illinois agronomist Emerson Napsiger says if soils dry out, the torrential rains stop, the sun shines, and weather gets warmer, well, things should be all good. The crop's going to tell us this, and if by the middle of June, you know, some fields have really greened up nicely and others have not, then we might need to think about those that haven't, and is there enough nitrogen missing there that's causing that to take place? My suspicion is that we're not going to see very much of that at all. And if we're uh, warm and dry and with sunshine for a week, I think the crop is going to look good in almost every field. One indication the topsoil has not been stripped clean of nitrogen is the good recovery of green leaf color. And Napsiger says as soils dry out, root systems start to expand and the color will change. He explains the corn crop at this point looks like it does, not because of a lack of in, but due to the cool temperatures and abundant rainfall. While it's premature to revise nitrogen management based on what's happened so far, now Sigur also cautions it cannot yet be ruled out. I would be very reluctant to make a decision now that we need to go put more nitrogen on, especially if we've put the full amount on. If we're going to if we still need to side dress and we add ten or fifteen or twenty pounds to that, I don't have a problem with that. But I think it's premature to decide that so much of the nitrogen is gone that we put out there that we need to go back and plan to put more on at this point. The good news is there's still time to make such decisions. The corn crop takes up barely one pound of N per acre for every inch of growth it makes, up to about knee high. That nitrogen deficiency develops over time, and Napsiger says it's almost always more related to current soil moisture than to the amount of nitrogen in the soil. So if fields aren't extra wet or extra dry over the next month, well, this season could still turn out to be much more typical than many now expect. For University of Illinois Extension, I'm Todd Gleason.